Here are fantastic Congo objects. Oh, wow. Dear friends of the New European Art and Culture, this is Ingo from About Africa and the rest of the world. And some weeks ago, I was in Stuttgart at the Linden Museum. And I visited first, I visited the, Oceanic, the new Oceanic era permanent exhibition. And I visited the African exhibition, which is there since 2019, I guess. And I made a video about both. I already post, uploaded the one about the Oceanic exhibition. But today, this is the one about the African section. Have fun. And let's start with the Benin section. And once again, I think they will give these objects back because Germany will give nearly everything back to Nigeria. And maybe they will can keep them to show it, but it will be in the possession of Nigeria. And uh, yeah, once again, there was a text on the right side and the text says nothing that about that. Here's great objects. I love them a lot with Gabon and things like this. But the text does not say anything about the that the Obers himself have been big slave traders in the past. It only says that the Briton came there and looted everything. So it's the odd history. But these are fantastic objects. Gabon okay, from Nigeria. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. And here, I literally love them. And then some some kind some shields, some other things here. I this this. Maybe a, a yakka. This might be a yakka. The leopard and uh, cameraman has dropped in through the light. Sometimes, yeah, he's, he's really a worse cameraman. But the cutter is even worse. And <laughs> my comments too. And here, other objects. You know, I think the, the curator was Ceruti, I think she was called from Italy. She made this uh, exhibition 2019. And I think she's not in the museum anymore. I don't know why. I think it's not because of this permanent exhibition. I, I have to say the permanent exhibition, I think it's 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 a good one. It's a nice one, but it's not a wow one. It's They don't tell so many stories. And uh, here's some Cameron things. They have a lot of objects from Cameron. Yes, once again, Germany. It was a German colony uh, 100 years ago. And it's it's a good exhibition, but it's not a wow exhibition. And here you see how it is. It, Looks a little like the old museums, you know, the ethnographic stuff with, oh, this was a village. Oh, look, there are people. Oh, with masks. Oh, it's a little strange, <laughs> but okay. Here's some more things. I think there's a good pandy mask and they have good objects there in the museum. It's still more big pandy mask, very good things. And you can see it. You, you see, there's not so much reflection. You really can see the objects and I'm happy if I can see objects and here's a, I think it's Kota. And but once again Chiruti is not here anymore. So for me it's not a radical new, new, great, fantastic uh, exhibition they have done. But it's better than the old one. The old one was very, very crowded. This one is crowded as well. Still crowded, but not as it was the, the old ones. So what do we have next? We have here, I think now this this might be Cameroon. And uh, yeah, here's some Makondi you know, East Africa was a German colony as well in Tanzania. A fantastic mask on the left and uh, this ape mask. I, well, yes, this is one I would like to have at home. But of course, it was a colonial thing. And here are fantastic Congo objects. Oh, wow, here are some. You know, the objects are really good and really nice. And you see a lot of... The presentation is, of course, much better than in Berlin, which is... Uh, <coughs> Yeah, okay, catastrophe. The presentation is good. You can see the object. This is Cameroon. And I'm, I, yes, as I said, I'm happy to see the object there from the Yombe and all the Nikisis and with the mirrors with the feathers. And here's a fantastic one. And wow. So it's really worth have a look uh, to, to Stuttgart. You know, you know, they have two new exhibitions, permanent exhibitions. One is Africa here from 2019. And the other one, which is from the Oceani. I made a video. This is a great mask. I made a video about the Oceanic permanent exhibition, which is new as well. But once again, they are nice things. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, 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 are there really some fans of these lids here? And they are fantastic. Yeah, they are. And here, <laughs> the red. I hope, Mr. Cameraman, you show it better soon. 
uh, yeah, it's one of those objects, those two for the master bully, one of the most famous Luber cover of the world. And these things are really expensive. You try to buy one in the market. Of course, you cannot buy this one in the market because this is museum and it's right that it's standing there. But once again, the colors are nice with the blue and the red. Yeah, it's modern colors with the yellow. And uh, yeah, the Luber is fantastic. Yeah, here's part of the Cameron section, we have a camera section outside and inside. You see it here, inside thing. At first, the, the camera outside. It's This is, one, once again, a little yeah, old-fashioned, you know, but it's okay, you know, seeing all the custom and standing there with a the, with the weapon. I think this, this is how it should, maybe this is how it should be. And this is inside the camera thing. You have uh, something inside and it looks like, like, like it was an old kingdom at, at, the, at the court of the king or whatever. So it's well done, it's nicely done, effective done. Once again, it's not very modern done, but it's good done. You know, here are some of these camera objects and camera things as well. And here other camera. And once again, you see the whole custom, which is, I think, great. You, could, you know, mask is not only a mask. Mask is a part of custom. This is Lee Langa, of course, a modern artist. I love Lee Langa a lot. I even do have a, a sculpture from him. Or from him, his brother, or from him, what, from his, whoever has done the Lee Langer things. <laughs> but this is very nice. And here is some movement by an uh, artist. Here in, uh, they have some modern things, but there are not so many modern here things there. <laughs> this is, of course, modern and great. I think everybody wants to have this one at home. And uh, yeah, here are some more Benin plaques. Here, whether they have to go back or whether they can stay here, it might be that if they stay, that you can only say things about them which are okay for the Uber in, in, in Benin. So maybe you cannot criticize things. But okay, this is, let's see what will happen with the things here. And uh, yeah, now we have got the Cross River section with a fantastic, great mask, you know. <laughs> and now this. Thanks for our Cross River Facebook crew people. <laughs> yeah, it's this is good. And you see the skin, how it kills the leather skin. It's 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 still perfect. It's great size. And this is I think there was no restoration. They are very early objects, early collected, and uh, some more. I think it's Eket and uh, Eket and from Cross River in Nigeria and uh, Wow mask. <laughs> want to have it, <laughs> grab it, give it to me, give it to me, yes, yes. And here, some more Lux, wild Lux crate and big ones. And uh, yeah, they really have a good collection. And go to Stuttgart. Once again, if you're in Germany, go to Stuttgart, look at these. The African exhibition and and the, the Oceanic exhibition is really worth having a look. And then, and here it is. Now I think it's about prestige objects, prestige things, and cause uh, such as duel is for the king and for a very good Cameron king, of course. And yeah, what we have has. Yeah, the making of a sculpture is, is, is the text, and you can see the works of one sculpture there. And it's very interesting to, to yes, to, to find these, the hand who's behind this, the man who's behind objects like this. And this, she seems to be one sculpture with these things, once again from Cameroon. Very nice. And here's, of course, this is a secret object, which you normally not see in the public, but here you can see it in the public. But once again, this is the secret, which is behind uh, things that fortune tellers knows and other people know as well. So is it great? Yeah, I would say it's great. Again, and, and very, it's nicely done. A little ethnographic. Then yeah, here's kiosk. This is, I think, even from the very from from the former exhibition. And here, what do we collect in the future? Maybe we collect these things, Lilangers, or maybe a kefebe, which is a little strange kefebe, or this bowley, or. Oh, this fantastic object here, which is once again great, with this, which is a, the mask, you know, you have it on your head. And here, yeah, this is a very odd object, object from, from East Africa, once again. So it is really nice what they have. And maybe we collect this, maybe we collect other things, if we collect at all. Here, once again, a fang. Yeah. 
I don't have to say anything. And this is not a bagger. This is thing from Gunther Traut, a German uh, collector has done this. And once again, a fantastic objects from the Congo. And yeah, here's a little reflecting, but you see it much better here. The Gunther Traut thing was, was nice as well. So this was more or less, this was the exhibition and uh, from Stuttgart. And I hope you had some fun and see you next time. Bye.